Hey everyone, how's it going? Cloud here, and welcome to my guide on a clockwork syringe quest. Now, for this quest, you need the following requirements. So you must have completed the prequel quest, which is rocking out, and you need these skill requirements, none of which that can be boosted. So 50 Dungeoneering, 61 Slayer, 62 Construction, 65 Summoning, 74 Smithing and Thieving, and 76 Defense. And you're also going to need to be able to defeat Barrel Chest Mark II, level 98. That's it for requirements, now on to the items. So you'll need a diving apparatus and fishbowl helmet. If you don't have those on you, you can obtain them during the quest, so it's just a case of checking if they're in your bank. If not, don't worry. Um, that's it for actual physical item requirements. The only other things I recommend is obviously uh, combat gear to fight against the barrel chest and some other enemies you'll be defeating. Um, also, anti-poison will come in handy, um, or if you've got your prior book and holy symbol that you got or as a reward from the previous pirate quests, um, also Exavile and Sal Amulet will come in handy as well. So that's it for the requirements and items, now onto the quest starting point. So we are currently outside my player owned house and basically that's where the quest starting. So um, after you finish the rocking out quest and you have all the requirements, if you go to go to your player owned house portal, and that obviously depends on where you've got it, in Tavli, Yanil, etc. When you attempt to enter your house, Posty Pete will appear saying that he's delivered a package to your house and stuck a note in the portal. Now that may have happened to you before you actually gone to do that quest. Um, what what will happen is when you click the player own portal there will be an option to choose the clockwork syringe and only by clicking that will you actually start with the quest so when you're ready choose that option and the note opens an interface to begin the quest so there'll be a big box delivered inside your house and as you go to open it a level 84 barrel chest mark 2 which uses melee and range will appear um, and will begin to attack you so the barrel chest uses melee and range attacks like I said but mainly melee if using uh, protect or deflect prayers it will use the opposite attack style from um, the one being protected from um, every so often the barrel chest will use a special attack which is um, shown by a blue glow and says prepare yourself. It will knock you backwards and completely destroy surrounding areas of your house except for walls. This means it can also break any stairs, food sources, exit portals or altars that you may wish to use. However, anything destroyed during the fight will be repaired immediately after, so don't start panicking that it's like wrecked your demonic throne or anything like that if uh, you have one of those. That attack will also drain your constitution, lowering the maximum number of life points to which you can heal. To be honest though, the barrel chest is not that difficult and you will dispatch him quite quickly and that it's just quite uh, amusing to see him start wrecking your house. Um, if you do happen to be killed by the barrel chest, you will appear immediately outside your house portal without having lost any items. So once the barrel chest has been uh, defeated, an estate agent will appear and inform you of the repairs that have been done to your house, and he will remark that the repairs were covered by the insurance Zombo Mechanical Piracy, um, although he didn't think such a thing would happen. The agent will take the delivery note as proof and leave you to deal with a severed head. After the estate agent has left, speak to the zombie head and all that remains of the original barrel chest and the head will refuse to divulge any information so you must torture it until its stress level reaches a certain threshold. You want to use all five options when they're available and a zombie's stress level will soon reach its maximum and the head will explain that he's been sent by Rabid Jack to destroy you and that an army of more barrel chests are being built to launch a destructive wave on Mosler Harmless. When the zombie head refuses to reveal any more information, you take the head with you to Bill Teach and inform him of the turn of events. So what we need to do now is travel to Port Fatimatus and find Bill Teach either in the Green Ghost pub or aboard his ship. So quickest way is to use your Ectovile to teleport to the Ectofuntus and then you can head inside. Once you speak to Bill, he'll tell you something uh, this important must be spoken of in utmost privacy and will direct you to Harpoon Joe's House of Rum in Mosler Harmless. So take Bill's ship from the dock to Mosler Harmless and head to Harpoon Joe's pub, which is just northwest from the bank.
when you're there, sit in the chair in the corner of the room and ask Joe for a long drop. Uh, when he asks if you're sure, tell him I drop me and he'll drop you into a secret basement. Bill Teach will be waiting for you in the basement. Talk to him and explain what happened in your player own house. When he asks for evidence, place the zombie head on the table and after a short discussion he will hand you a teleport scroll and will ask you to retrieve a night special from Captain Braindeath on Braindeath Island. So we now need to head to Brain Def Island. Now, if you do have the diving apparatus and fishbowl helmet in your bank, make sure you bring it with you for this bit. So we want to exit the basement and uh, use the teleport scroll option to travel to Brain Def Island. After arriving, speak to Captain Brain Def and ask him for the night special. He will inform you that several of his workers have recently gone missing. Offer to find out what became of them and he'll suggest you look near the dungeon entrance in the volcano. As the dungeon is submerged, Captain Brain Def will give you a diving apparatus and fishbowl helmet if you do not have uh, one still on you. If you die while in this dungeon, your grave will appear outside. So, with your apparatus and fishbowl helmet, you want to head um, to the bottom level and then go west, then north, past 50% Luke, towards the volcano, until you reach what appears to be an entrance to a dungeoneer and resource dungeon. The monsters inside the dungeon attack using melee and range, and hit harder and more accurately than other monsters of similar levels. So make sure you have um, your apparatus and helmet equipped and enter the dungeon. The dungeon has three possible paths, you want to go down all three paths, each of which lends to a room with a door lockable from the inside. Head down each path and close the door to prevent further monsters from venturing. Kill any general malpractioners in the room and as they will interfere with your investigation. So when it's safe to do so and you're not going to be interrupted, you want to investigate the worker's body to discover their name, and you want to do that for each of the three paths in the dungeon. Now, one thing I will recommend while you're in here is with the rum pumped crabs, uh, you want to uh, kill one of those while you're down here. So that's actually a requirement for the uh, dungeoneering Daemonheim uh, hard tasks, and will just save you travelling back to here at a later time uh, to do that task then. So once you've discovered the name of all the workers, head back to Captain Brain Death with the news. Before the captain hands over the night special, he'll force you to take a rigorous oath. After taking the oath, he'll hand over the special, telling you that Bill Teach has the key to open it. And with the night special, you want to then teleport back to Mosler Harmless with the teleport scroll and head back to the basement in Joe's pub. So Bill will unlock the night special for the player to then open and after some dialogue the player will get to choose what to beautify the zombie head with. He'll then use the chosen set of items to decorate the zombie head in order to get it to tell you where the barrel chests are being built. Once you have the location, return south to Bill's ship and talk to him and use the clockwork syringe option to begin your travel. So speak to Bill and after some dialogue, barrel chests fire cannons at you and you're forced to find a way to the island yourself by building a cannonball barrel boat. So after talking to Bill, he'll tell you to go to the lower parts to make the barrel boat. You need to go down the ladders to the ship's hull and there pick up the hammer and tinderbox, open and search both the repair locker and gun locker. 
take a barrel from the barrel stack and as well as some gunpowder, at least three of them from the gunpowder barrel. Next use the gunpowder on the chain to flash heat it, then smith the chain and cannonball on the anvil. Lastly use your chain with cannonball on the barrel and a cannonball barrel boat is now ready. Go back up the ladder to the main deck, um, look on your minimap for the cannon closest to the arrow and it requires two gunpowders to fire you with your cannon barrel boat and then take the ride cannon option to blood splatter aisle. So when you arrive, investigate the perch rock and the seagull, Baron Ron Hattencrapper, <laughs> from Rockin' Out will appear and will forgive you for what you did to him during Rockin' Out. If those don't remember, we sucked him up into the accordion and fired him at the pirate to get his attention. He wants to work with you to destroy the barrel chest so he can freely roam around the island and you must now use your summoning skill to steer him using the arrows in the control box. There are five barrel chests to drop bombs on around the islands. Keeping your camera to the north will make this part easier. So what you want to do is to keep navigating the seagull and as you get to approach a barrel chest, press the bomb option as a sort of a couple of second delay before the bomb will actually kind of be launched. So just to kind of uh, increase the chance of you hitting the barrel chest and to save you some time. Once you've killed them, a cutscene will occur, leave the island and swim to Bill Teach and update him on the fate of the barrel chess. Ask Bill to take you back to Blood Splatter Isle, you arrive at a dock from which you can enter the factory compound. Approach the yellow dots to the north to get caught and jailed. You then want to escape your cell and collect a surgical mask, roll of bandage, a bundle of parts from the shelf, uh, the barrel chest part, and a barrel from the supply area just to the north. Then return to Bill by using the signaling point at the dock where you arrived. He will help you construct a barrel chest disguise which you can then investigate and sabotage the operations, gathering evidence as you go. When you have the disguise, have Bill send you back to the island and enter the compound and change into it. So there's a notice board with each of the five rooms from which you must collect letters to complete the evidence file. In order to get the letters you must do various activities to distract or kill the guards in each room and you may also be attacked by grim turns. So for letter one this is in the southwest room. The player must first subdue the disorderly by sabotaging the gas canister to the south of the room. Once the laughing gas fills the room tell jokes to each of them and then brutalise each of them. After all three disorderly are dead investigate the notice board. For letter 2, stun each of the Grim Turns in the westmost room by using the cannon, which is the right click option, then dispose of them one by one. You can also take all three of them all at once. Investigate the notice board after killing them. For letter 3, simply talk to one of the drunk zombies lying on the bed in the northwest room to find her extremely drunk and investigate the notice board. For letter 4, loosen each of the three undead arms in the northeastern room and then inspect one of the arms. After a short cut, seeing the undead arms will kill them and then one to investigate the notice board. And in for letter 5, return to the supply area north of the jail room and collect three barrels and three gunpowder in human form. Use the gunpowder on each of the three barrels and then wear your disguise again and head to the southeastern room.
the attended will ask the player to help you finish the barrel chests. Do so by using the gunpowder filled barrels and sabotage them. Once you've done that, investigate the notes board. After collecting all the letters, return back to Bill by signalling him from the dock. Talk to Bill on board his ship. After taking the barrel chest disguised from you, he'll hand you a stash of mini powder kegs and will now ask you to return the blood splatter aisle so you can complete the task of destroying the factory. So once again, you want to head uh, back to the island and then head to the eastmost room, uh, the room with the red line. Pull the lever to activate three conveyor belts and use your bundle of kegs on them continuously until each of the conveyor belts explodes. Occasionally, a zombie will climb onto the conveyors and approach you. If it reaches the end of the conveyor, it will jump off and initiate combat, but this can be prevented by sending a keg down the conveyor while the zombie pirate is still on it, and this will kill it instantly. Just note, you can't place kegs on conveyor belts that are destroyed, but zombies can still travel down those belts. So after all three of the conveyor belts have exploded, Migor and Mechanical Murphy will attempt to escape. Climb over the destroyed wall between the conveyor lines and head east to the docks and you will then encounter Migor and Murphy um, escaping on their zomboats. Board the unoccupied zomboat to chase your enemies. Migor's zomboat and Murphy's zomboat will take five hits to sink and three other zomboats take two hits to sink. You want to shoot at the enemy boats by using the available interface or by using the right click option on the enemy boat. You want to try attack them one on one, uh, back enough to recover your health and repair damage when necessary. Enemy boats cannot repair damage, so you don't have to worry about that. So this might take a little bit of time, it's not exactly difficult, it's just being careful not to take too much damage in one go. After all hostile boats are sunk, you will return to Bill's boat and sail back to Hot Mosla Harmless. And you want to go back to Joe's uh, basement and speak to Bill Teach to finish the quest. So, after you finish speaking to him, he'll thank you and come up congratulations, you've completed a Glockwork Syringe. You're awarded 1 quest point, 19,000 defense experience, 18,000 smithing and thieving experience, 15,000 summoning experience, 11,250 construction experience, 11,000 slayer experience, 5,000 dungeoneering experience, the ability to enter the Rumgen resource dungeon and kill the rum pumped crabs for the brackish blade, a scroll allowing quick transport between Mosul Harmless and Brain Death Island, which is quite handy, and two treasure under keys and two hearts of ice. So there we are, quest complete. So overall, a not really difficult quest, like the pirate ones don't generally tend to be difficult, they're more time consuming with all the different activities and mini games to complete. However, this one is quite a fun one and the rewards from it are quite decent in terms of the experience. Um, now, this is kind of the final one of the pirate quest series so far, however, it did get announced at RuneFest that a pirate uh, finale is coming out and obviously this quest will be required to do that one. So when that quest comes out and when I'm able to do it and make a guide for it, you'll find the link in the description below. But other than that, I don't think you'll run into any problems following my guide. If you do get stuck, leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll help you out as best I can. If not, thank you for watching. Please make sure you like, favourite, comment, subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends. Thanks everyone, bye bye.